is up, ladies and gentlemen. It's your What's boy up, from the Shack World Podcast. I'm your host, Harold Easton, here in the studio with... James Walker. <laughs> you going to say your name or you just... A- <laughs> oh, I thought, you were, I thought yeah. you were Harold Easton for a second yeah. there. Uh, go ahead. Wedding boy, Tim Hanna. Ready for the preview. <laughs> Still Excited for tech. Excited and pumped for tech. Um, so, obviously, as you guys know, this is your second uh, episode for the week. And we are pumped to play the Red Raiders. Red, Red Raiders. Raiders. The Fighting Tortillas. And f- Tortillas. Tortillas. From Dodge the Lubbock. Raider Rash this week. Ooh. So, I don't know. Some people might want to set their bumper up to high warp speed or whatever how it works. I don't know. What, 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 what is your plan for the weekend? Uh, watch football. Okay. Uh, go to sleep very early Friday. Yes. Probably won't we'll happen. very early Saturday. Yes. Probably also won't Pop happen. two five-hour energies on Saturday. At least. Definitely won't happen. Uh, <laughs> so zombie mode. Yeah, zombie mode. Uh, I think we're all gonna try and get up there at like five or six o'clock. Yeah, I think our plan for tailgate is to, if you feel like joining us, uh, six a.m. Get out there, set up by seven, go all the way to ten thirty ish, and then get in the stadium. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be lit. It is going at nine a.m. Most of the so doses. clearly, doses last episode we went ahead and did every all of our recovery from this past week Mm -hmm. and uh talking about um the rex game and now we're gonna go ahead and give you guys our thoughts on what is coming up what we think is gonna happen what we think is gonna happen what we hope is gonna happen what we hope is gonna happen from right here this armchair armchair these chairs are pretty comfortable coaches they're very nice uh what what's gonna happen this next week so um Overview overall. So, at the moment, uh, UH is favored by seven points. Which which you get three points for being at home. So right. maybe that's surprising. I am too. I'm not. Um, really? Tech can't play defense, and that's very true. They can just throw the ball a lot. Yes. Yeah. Correct. So clearly, they couldn't put up defense. Arizona State, who is a not very good team, uh, was able to put. Four 45 points on them. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's still like a Pac-12 school. Though. I mean, sure. But Arizona Definitely. State is not good. No, they're, they're uh, the Arizona, Arizona State game is going to be, is going to be Pac-12 of the year. Oh yeah. I know we we're talking all about the pillow fights, but I'm right there with you. I'm just uh, glad so, we're not talking but, about pillow fights for us. But Thank God. Texas Tech is 2-0 and yeah. and the Cougs yeah. are 2-0. and Yeah. So it's going to be kind of interesting seeing how this and, plays out. And it's an in-state rivalry. Yes. Lots yes. of recruiting battles are going to be looking it is at a this rivalry. weekend. A lot. A lot. We sure. lose some to them. They lose some to Every us. Every offer we have, Tech has an offer, too. Oh, exactly. Every single one. Every and one. vice versa. Except yeah. we offer defensive guys that can actually stop the ball. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's I'm not so, too rude. Dang, dude. And the this first is going to be old boys oh. return to the dirty third. It is. He's going to uh, be not too far from Gibbs, his old Coach uh, Gibbs. apartment. Not too far. Oh, uh, I was talking about Cliff. I was talking about Gibbs and uh, Cliff. No, I who? said the apartment. Who are you talking about? Oh, but yes. Oh, yeah. Gibbs and Kiff. Me and Cliffy Cliff. boys used to be... Not roommates, but... Not roommates, but... Former house owners? Yeah, so you lived owners. in the same like, apartment. Like a, a apartment Eskimo same brothers? Same brothers? <laughs> you, you occupied the same <laughs> space? I think you'd be happy if you were Eskimo bros with Cliffy, though, right? <laughs> oh, oh I can only imagine. <laughs> All right. <bye. laughs> Let's get back on topic. <laughs> wow. Wow, we went there. Wow. I, schedules no, thus far. We. He. Te- <laughs> Oops. Uh, Texas Tech wins 56-10 to 10 over Eastern Washington. FCS. It would have been fun to see them play on the red field, but whatever. Um, no, they have a gray field. I thought they had a red field. They have a gray field. I must be thinking of something I else. I thought they had the red field. Who has yeah. a gray field? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, then the last week, 45-52, they win. Um, big players to watch this game. Uh, obviously, Nick Shemanek. Uh, Shaman Shamanic. Okay, that's going to be demonic. Got, I've been re- corrected 10 different times demonic. on Reddit. Okay. So, shamanic. It's shamanic. Who cares? How can they correct you on Reddit? Uh, like they like some people put like a phonetic spelling of it. Ah, uh, of course they do. Shamanic. Cool. Shemonic. Thanks for Reddit College Football for retweeting one of our tweets this last week. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Um, but obviously, he is our freaking stud. 927. Our stud? our stud to look out for. Fair enough. Thank you for the great They're stud. careful. They're stud to look out for. Yes. <laughs> That's Lord, fair. boys. Uh, nine <laughs> touchdowns Come already. On, get off the boy. 
already. Yeah, is, but uh, one of those was an FCS school. Yeah. Uh, that'd be like Kyle Allen throwing 10 on Lamar from last year. They still put up. Hey, Lamar's got a good defense. They still put up 52 on Arizona State. That's fair. Let's keep that in mind. So Pac-12 um, Pac doesn't play defense. That is definitely true. Um, next on their list, I would say for the running backs, we've got Desmond Nisby um, with 15 carries for 102 yards. But zero touchdowns so because they run they're the ball throwing. A lot. Yeah, they're they're <laughs> throwing fifteen the ball. carries only. Yeah, yeah, only. He's le he leads the team in yards. Correct, Mundo. So they're throwing the rock. On the flip side, they, they're throwing the rock, and the number one uh, leader in uh, yards per game on in the uh, nation receiving yards. Yes, in the nation is Lil Kiki Kuti. Uh, it's just Kiki Cootie. I'm going to keep on calling him Lil Kiki. Texas seven, the South. Seven, <laughs> 17, the side. 17 receptions for 285 yards and three touchdowns. A couple other guys, Jordan Brooks, 20 total tackles, uh, 12 solos. That's actually pretty dang good so far to have 12 solo tackles, but he might be the only guy on their defense who knows how to play defense. Um, no, and hey, you, don't hit on the next hey, guy. Man. Don't have the next guy. Dakota Allen. Former last chance last you Last chance you boy. Uh, that is correct. So 15 total tackles, six solo, one and a half tackles for loss. So he was at Tech left and he came actually, back. He, was, he, he had to leave. He had to leave. Right. He, he was leave. he was, was involved in a... They robbed. A, it was a robbery. Yeah. Wasn't like right. a, it was like a convenience store or something. He got tangled up with the wrong people. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. stuff. Yep. It wasn't as bad as his teammate, who is now convicted of murder. So the other, uh, which one. happened, this Isaiah, yeah. right? Yeah, Isaiah, yeah, right. The other guy, like the one. That, that actually, if I watched it, U of H sent a um, recruiter there. They talked. They were talking right. about Isaiah Wright at the time. Um, but Dakota Allen, dodge that one. He, he's he's a ball. Very much so. He yeah. he really is. I I I think they have a. I don't know what it is. They have players on the defense, but they just can't. Can't put it all together, and they have Gibbs. Gibbs did wonders for us. Yeah, so that's, I, that's, I don't a, know. that's a coach name. I was trying to when y'all brought up Cliff. I was I was really talking about Gibbs. Oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is going to be you know um, before we get into deep on well, well we'll get into predictions in a second. But uh, Statty Boys alert. Alert, uh, alert, alert, alert. Statty Boys alert, alert. Uh, Adult Texas, coloring book boys. Texas. <laughs> 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 Texas Tech is number one. In as the number one passing offense in the Not country surprising. right now. Not surprising. Uh, Cliffy tends to do that. When your leading Shocker. rusher has 15 carries all year, yeah, you probably yeah. can have. <laughs> um, but then to flip that. Yeah, to flip that, UH is number 31 in passing yards allowed per game and like is 32 stuff. in passing yards per game. Right. It was pretty good, especially since we've only played two games. Right. Most teams have played three, some four, uh, mm -hmm. with a couple of like USF playing in the uh, in basically week zero, um, and Texas Tech is number one hundred in passing Ooh, yards boys. allowed per game. Kyle, I'm about to have a so field day, especially after this hopefully. last game. So basically, Matt it's who wins the matchup: Tech's offense versus our defense, and our offense versus their defense. That's, that's I. That's a good point. Yeah, exactly. And I like our offense's chances better against their defense than versus I, vice versa. Yes. yes. If, if you had to put on two, one. which one do you want to win? You go with that one. Sure. Yeah, I would much rather have our, I'm more our, our defense. Well, my yeah. question for you is something that we haven't seen a whole lot of is a lot of throwing against our secondary. Something that we didn't well, we see saw a, lot. a little bit of it during La during Arizona. We saw Rice a little game. bit. Easy there, cowboy. But I think uh, water like the easier pirates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go back to one. Yeah, back to the other pirates. Um, Despite that, the fact that we saw a little bit more of passing on our secondary against the Rice game, um, we haven't seen a whole lot of it done. And that was one of our biggest perceived weak points of the defense coming in forward. Mm -hmm. How do you think that's going to end up looking when basically they're barely going to be running the ball? Our strong suit at this point is run defense. Right. And the fact that they're going to be chunking the ball all over us leaves me a little scared. So I will say this. I am more impressed each game with Garrett Davis. Oh yeah. So oh, sure. that gives me a little bit more confidence. Jeremy Winchester too, yeah. actually. 
Yeah. Isaiah Looks like Johnson he's really. All of them. <laughs> Isaiah Johnson had a lot of work to do. It was rice. Last week. <laughs> it was I rice. But I, I'm more confident in our secondary now than I was before oh, the beginning of the year. Per, sure. Before the beginning of the For year. For sure. Yeah. I, th- I think the big key is going to be um, depth as far as the secondary goes. These, I mean, they're going to be tossing the ball. Guys are going to get gassed. Gassed. And luckily, you know I mean? like, luckily, I, th- I think we're going to see our defense actually have to put in another gear. This oh, definitely. Because but they're gonna they're gonna be dealing yeah. with some extra heat. Oh, they are too. They will too. For sure. They're not used to. Mm-hmm. That's one of the things. Even despite mm-hmm. being you know inside of the state of Texas, it's a hot everywhere. Yeah. Um, what, they're not used to the humidity. Right. One thing I'm curious about is, do you think, or do y'all think that? Well, offensively, sure. knowing that Tech is going to throw the ball and they're going to go fast, do we play the same game, up tempo, okay. no huddle, go to line, go, or do we play a slower game, ensuring that our defense gets some rest on the side? Slower. I think we're going to so have to. Slower. You know what I mean? I think we'll we, see. I, we haven't we haven't gone ultra fast this sure. year, right? Okay. And I don't think we want to get in a shootout with Tech. I, we don't. I don't you think don't. we can win that. But I think we can win if we control the ball. That's and exactly with our, what I'm with our dink about. and dunk and our yeah. horizontal mm-hmm. passes. I think we can control and win the game the, on the offensive battle. Yeah. If we stick to that, definitely. Point. I think they can't play that slow ball. Game. Yeah. Right. They have to play fast. Otherwise, right. it's not going to work. So if we're able to keep it slow, keep their defense out on the field, get those guys exhausted. If we can manage in the first half. By the time we flip back around, those guys are going to be shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the offense is giving them no time. Right. So mm-hmm. hypoth- hypothetically, say they score, maybe we're in it tied at halftime. It's going to be much more beneficial for us leading into the second half where they're gassed and our guys are still fine um, because it's been a more equal distribution, I think. I, I think they're going to have to make some mistakes on offense, an interception or two. I think that's what it's going to... We I need some jack boys to come back. Yeah, I think Garrett Davis needs to we step will. up. I think uh, Winchester or uh, Johnson or Myers or uh, Wilder has to make plays. Yeah. yeah. I, which I think they will, man. We just They just look clean. Yeah. Last two games. We've looked good. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Texas Tech knows how to freaking score some points. We know that. And For sure. Shimanek is already looking I think, pretty you know, good. also just... Knowing that they're not going to run that ball that much is, I think this is going to be a, D'Onofrio is like a big test for him. Oh, definitely. As far as, and tell us a lot about what to look for the rest of the season as far as how is he going to disguise blitzes? Where is he going to bring pressure from? I think you're going to see so. a lot of three down linemen pull everyone back and there you don't have to leave you a spy. Make that fourth guy, make that fourth guy well, yeah. rushing from the cornerback oh, they position. Will. They I, will. Think, I think you're going to see a lot of that this game. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It'll be pretty cool. off the edge. I don't think we're dropping everybody into coverage. No, 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 no. no. Um, can't, can't do that. I don't think that's a game we want to get into play. I think we're going to constantly blitz one or two guys. Yeah. Keep three guys in the mm-hmm. downfield and let everybody else hang back. Yeah, I think I that's what we're going to see. That would be cool. Um, I, I still, I, I just like our, I like our chances. Yeah. I do too. I Especially I didn't, I didn't because like we are them. at home, right? right? And I didn't, about the tech game, I was more uncomfortable about it before, after seeing last night. Man, I feel a lot. Even though it was Rice, I still right. Sure. Yeah. Admittedly, this is still probably the most worrisome game I have of the entire season. Um, not only because, really? yeah, this oh, it, no. and it has been. I, I know they're going to score points. Um, we were able to see some good, I, prolific stuff. But I think there, there's still a lot of questionables about this. I team. still think there's better teams on our schedule than Tech. To be I completely think, honest, I, I think Memphis think, is better. Memphis scares Tech, me the most. Tech even. is not a complete team. They sure. have an offense. They have. The, I'm, uh, their defensive numbers just don't – they don't look great. I think there's you more know, implications for yeah. recruiting in the side of the state of Texas dropping okay. this game sure. oh, yeah. as opposed to mm-hmm. – and, and with recruiting overall helping us going forward because yeah, like yeah, we mentioned earlier, we beat them oh, it sure. will be a huge deal to beat them. If we can yeah. make this happen, you know, every single time we can beat one of the P5s in Texas, it yes. edges that needle. Yep. Closer, and we have a, and we have a seven game us. winning streak against power five schools. We do. Yep. Um, I really like to see this eighth. I really I think like we can do it. I think we can do it. I think we can all agree. I think we're going to get it. TD Eju is going to be lit. Yeah. Even at 11 o'clock. And screw you, ESPN, for putting on us at, at 11 o'clock. <laughs> I'm very butthurt about that. I wanted to drink 
all day long and I'll, enjoy this one. I'll address this because this has been an issue since 2011, really. Yeah. When we were Garbo, oh, yeah. we were bad. ESPN 3, 7 yeah. o'clock, all yeah. the time. All the time. All the time. Now that you're better. 2014? Yeah. <laughs> now that we're, we're better and we're getting more eyeballs. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that, in fact, this game it has been announced, but it might be on ABC. It, yes. What was it, That's ABC true. or ABC ESPN? Or ESPN. Or ESPN. Yeah. I, I think this is something we're just going to have to put up with from here on out. And, yeah. and I'm okay with it because mm-hmm. the exposure we get from 11 a.m. Yep. is way more than we're going to get from our fans donating dollars. Yeah, to the I university. agree. I hate it's to true, too. Like that, I agree. It's, it's, a good po- it's a good point, too. It kind of forces people, if we're playing this big game at 11 o'clock in the morning, you got to go and you got to show up early and you got to make sure you're not fiddling around and make sure fiddle you're farting. there. Yes, fiddle yeah. farting around. Fiddle farting around. And dilly dallying. Yeah. As opposed to, what, what you know, you uh, when am I going to get there? <laughs> I think you can figure out what the other app work is going to use. <laughs> but it, it forces people to go ahead and make the, make the decision, get there, get in there early. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to, I hope create a pretty good atmosphere. Well, I mean, I we can so. all can remember what Oklahoma was like. Yeah. Last but I was year. about to say, you remember Oklahoma, it was, that was the best tailgate for U of H I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we did not anticipate that big of a tailgate. I don't know. Tailgate. No, <laughs> we record. had, a couple hundred people people at our tailgate I know. our tailgate just hanging out and seeing what we were doing at our tailgate people were lit at 8 a.m <laughs> <laughs> like there were probably 70 people there at before eight o'clock at our yeah. ta- our tailgate yeah and it was, it was awesome so i hope we can see something like that it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of crowd texas tech brings they brought oh, a good Brandon. crowd a couple of years ago i'm I, hoping i mean it's better coming. than rice i think they're coming I would say, which has more fans in the stadium, Texas Tech or students? Our students? Yeah. Uh, So we have 5,000 students that are going to be there. Is there going to be more than 5,000 Tech fans here? Uh, We'll have more students. Yeah. Think so? Yeah. I think they'll probably have that even. I think they'll have about 3,000 or 4,000. Or there's going to be more UH fans. Did they sell out their allotment? Uh, I would imagine so, yeah. Yeah. I would imagine so. But they we'll just find that out in the last bars. couple days. Just fill them in. No, they'll be want. in the end zone too. That little I know, I'm just saying, yeah. but they overbuy, you know, like yeah. And then that's hard for to throw tortillas down from the third level. Yeah, I really hope there's no tortillas. Uh, if I see a tortilla time. in my stadium, heads will roll. Agreed. So avoid that section of the stadium, Jameson. You're not allowed to go to the northeast corner of the stadium. I'm correct. Uh, come over there. <laughs> I so, do not suggest that. <laughs> do not suggest that. <laughs> we know how big of a game this is for mm-hmm. recruiting. We know how big of a game this is for reputation and this, bragging rights yes. in the state of Texas, yes. right? Yeah. This is a tech team that could go beat, I still think, nope. Texas. They could beat okay, Baylor. They could beat, they could beat, okay. they could beat some other teams in the Big 12. And for us to be able to say to our recruits that we beat this team that can still put up all those points on those guys is a big deal because yeah. we can't play them. So do you have any other insights for this game before we start doing our predictions? Uh, no hot takes. No more hot takes. No more hot takes. Mm-mm. Okay, so with that, I let's go ahead. The game is going to be one in a time of possession battle for us. Yes. Yeah, and, I would definitely agree. With that. And I know that's very coach speak. Oh and sure. And turnover margin. We're just going to go out there, yeah. Limit can and limit and turnovers. Div- yeah. Gives us, you know, protect the football. Well, the good thing is gonna I, I'm going to lead on six. our side protect with the football <laughs> with the turnover margin. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we're going to be able to. Uh, have the edge on the turnover margin overall. Okay. Hope so. Well, um, since you said that, why don't you start us off with your prediction? Remember, okay. the line is seven. I don't know what the over-under is. Sure. Um, give me a sec here. I'm going to go ahead and say 28 Texas Tech to, and we win by seven, so that's uh, 35. 28 to 35. 28-35. Mm, no field goals or anything. Well, okay. We're only fifty percent on the year, so yeah. yeah. Oh, shade. <laughs> Ooh, the line has already moved down to the six. Six. What'd you just say? Thirty-five twenty-eight. Yeah, thirty-five twenty-eight. 35, UH 28, wins this game in. at it's home. Uh, we have an out. We have the you said largest home, um, record. Correct. Uh, yes, we lead the nation. Sixteen wins at home. Excellent. So, Jameson, what do you have? I've been thinking about this. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say 37 for U of H. Okay. And 27. Oh my goodness. For tech. 
It's very close. 37-27? Yep. All right. Thank you, Timmy, for taking notes for us. It's 21. That's three sorry, touchdowns, yeah, yeah, sorry, two field goals, Chief. 37 <laughs> I know. I was doing the math. 37-27. Yeah. Okay. All right. I um, might be even lower. I I think it might be lower. It might than be that. a low scoring game. I was gonna. I, yeah. I want. I don't I think just, it's. I just be can't a low see it. Game. I can't see. Yeah. Like that. But I could. I could have easily seen like a 24, 28 U of H one. Yeah. Even agreed. Tim. Boom boom boom. Watch Tim just gonna pick. Remember we're on video. I know. Uh, hey, don't don't rush me, cowboy. Let me do my thing. <laughs> Guy wins one game on the pickums and thinks he just runs the show. I think I won last week too. Yeah, I won last week too. Okay. Oh my God. Here we go. Carol's two and zero. We're gonna do something. Two and zero, boys. You're two and zero. I'm pretty sure I'm two and zero. How? What? You, what was your rice prediction? Twenty-seven to fourteen. Uh, Thirty-seven to fourteen. Yeah. Okay, so, so I was thirty-eight off. ten. So I was. I actually won. Yeah, that's right. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he edged you. Skier. One and one, boys. Boys. I'm going to say score will be 28 U of H. You just took my prediction. 28 U of H, two. Here it comes. Here it comes. Just take, Come on. He's going to take what I just said. 28-21 U of H. <laughs> I joked and said 28-24. There you go. There you go. So that's what we've got. 28-21. Indeed. Um, so I think, you it's know, a pretty basic game. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think this is going to get as out of control as it normally gets. I think we're going to be able to we've shown that we can stop a prolific offense with, um, a dual you know, in the city of. H- yes. And saying with stop Baker a good Mead. running game with Rice. Yes. Uh, wait, what? Hold on. What? They ran the ball a lot against yeah. UTEP. I don't know UTEP's terrible, just, and they just fired their offensive coordinator, but they showed they could <laughs> run the ball. Yeah. And they couldn't run it against us. Yeah. True. Well, hell no. <laughs> I hell hope not. Matthew Adam Boy is a bad man. So it's not all of Scary Gary man. Davis. All of bad man. Continuing on. Nick Thurman. All of them. Okay. So um, there we go. We're going to go ahead with that. Close out our talks for the Texas Tech game. Maybe yeah. throw in some stuff at the end. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump into week four for the American Athletic Conference. So let's jump in to our Thursday game. Love Thursday games for our conference. Gives us National more exposure. Spotlight. I can, I love the fact that we're doing this. I don't like it when it's us, but I love the fact that we're doing this. We have the Temple Owls at USF. The so they're going to be feisty first. They're going to be back for feisty what birds? Day birds. Day birds as Angry opposed to the North, night birds. So Angry birds. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Feisty snowbirds because it snows. Good one. There you go. Snowbirds. Um, Jameson. Good one. Quiet you. This is going to be USF's <laughs> first game back at home after all this hurricane business. No, so. Not. Oh, we were at home last week. They played uh, Illinois there. Yeah. On oh, Friday I must, night. I must have missed that one. Yep. Uh, I thought they were at, um, Illinois. at Illinois. And they had yeah. less people in the stands than we did. Woof. Yeah. Good job, USF. That's on me. Um, but Temple at USF, what do you guys think? Temple catching the L. Catching the uh, L? Yeah. USF. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we have to talk about too much more than that. Temple's not that good this year. USF is decent, but this is an easy, easy schedule that they Charlie got. Strong getting the W. Charlie Strong is going to run that team into the ground. Um, next game, <laughs> we have does. Army at Tulane. This could does. be pretty good. I think Army is going to really probably. Uh, get, no, keep this I think pretty Tulane close. Takes this. Yeah, I think Tulane takes. I it hope so. Home. I think Tulane I takes so. this, and I think this game finishes in like two and a half hours. Army played Ohio yeah, State I think this you're last week. Say that about a lot of games. It's two running I offense. Right. Ohio State played yeah. uh, Army pretty interestingly this last week. Did you know this? Uh, before the Ohio State game they played last week, um, Army had completed two passes on the year in two games. Wow. So I wow. think this game is going to go very very well, quick. That's, wow. Yeah. So I think I think Tulane wins this. Right. Okay, Tulane. Let's go for Tulane at the home and uh, pull for the NOLA team. So next we have New Mexico at Tulsa. Tulsa. Mexico I think this should clearly Tulsa, Tulsa better win this game. If Tulsa yeah. loses this game, I'm going to be no, no, no. I'm just saying I uh, will be crying Jordan if Tulsa loses this game. Uh, Why? Because we need them to win these out of conference games. Yeah, I agree. Especially overall, against, well, against New lost. Mexico, which is. Freaking garbage, guys. They're the fighting awful. former Bob Davies. They went to a bowl game last year. Yeah. But 
That was like the first time in You're how long? Like New Mexico State is definitely worse. New Mexico oh, State yeah. Aggies, Aggies are so bad. The Aggies. The, that's the, 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 that's the, the SB Nation's like favorite, like low key terrible team. It's kind of funny, <laughs> but um, we all have Tulsa. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so too. So UCF at Maryland Ooh. is Maryland the, the team? Deal. No, that could really have beaten Texas. Hmm. I think they're better Man, than average this guys. A, this, this is a tough. This is a one, tough man. one, dude. Yeah. Um, going okay. off of what I know, I think Maryland has a backup. That they, that kid's hurt, right? So Maryland's still yeah. on that, that freshman quarterback. Yeah, the quarterback that played in the game against Texas uh, is it came in. Yeah, I believe so. Um, then I like UCF odds. I'll take UCF. It's on at road. Maryland. Keep that in mind. I know. This is a team that's now three and zero. And they're playing at home. They're going to be juiced to play this game. Who Maryland's three zero? Yes. Yeah. So um, What's the, this is going to be UCF on the road. On the okay. Side. Cool. I'll, I'll, Tim, I'll, I'll what do you UCF have? On the road. Uh, that'd be a huge. It's more so I wanted to Maryland. Happen. Maryland's favored by four. You get three points at home, which means they're thinking what we think. Maryland is projected sixty four point eight percent FPI. UCF. I want to believe. Yeah, I okay. do too. I, I, I want to believe. On the road. Okay. I want to believe. I'm going to go against you guys. I want UCF frosty, to win. I the think that they're nights. really good. I think they end up losing by less than six points. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and Ooh. pull up. Is UCF loses by less than six? Yeah. Um, I would love for them to prove us wrong. Obviously, American Athletic Conference, please go get the P5 win. Uh, next, we have Cincinnati at Navy. 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 Uh, we don't even have to talk no. about this game. Mm-hmm. Navy's going to whoop their ass. Yeah, Sorry, ba- Bearcat Radio. We love you guys. But no. Fighting Ben Tarongs. It's just not there this it's year. It's not going to no, happen. It's not happening. So next, we have Arkansas State at SMU. This could be kind of interesting. Yes. Arkansas State has been kick ass for the last mm-hmm. five years. They haven't in, done bad this year. In their conference. They haven't done bad this year either. Uh, what, they're sitting at, are they undefeated so no, far? No. No, they lost the big game to, yes. uh, did they play Alabama? No. I can't remember. Was big it Oregon? P5, uh, top, top 10 no. uh, program, if I remember correctly. But they yes. go in there and they play pretty decently. I oh, mean, they're one and one. They're one and one yeah. lo- with loss who, to who the, team uh, that, the the that's what we'll figure out. But power team they play. overall, they've been they played. I think they won the conference like three out of the last four years. What, the they've been oh, they in lost the to Nebraska forty three to thirty six. Nebraska, okay, so they're All not right. that good. I think SMU is going to win this game. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. see any reason why SMU is way better than the score against TCU reflected. I think TCU is really damn good. That top three of the Big Twelve is really damn. good good with them oklahoma oklahoma state so uh next we have our friends uh memphis who just beat ucla at home they have another home game one yeah against southern illinois yeah i couldn't tell you where southern illinois is sulkies salukis salukis i think it's like a like a tree or maple leaf or something like some type of yeah vegetation salukis though oh they got a weird logo uh, yeah, Memphis, um, Memphis rolls. Memphis yeah. rolls. I'll take Memphis, sure. Paul. Memphis, Paul. You know, Memphis, they Paul. looked they looked like they had about the same amount of fans at their game against UCLA, yeah, was who was ranked. Disappointed. I love that stadium. I love the design. Um, you but, do? Uh, yeah, I think it's cool. I don't. I don't the design's agree. cool. I just think it's old and it is old. It's nasty. I haven't been. Memphis is old and nasty. So, hey, but they've this hey, is the Bill best. Street's kind of fun. Memphis is better now than they ever have. <laughs> yeah, Memphis is Peabody right Hotel. What I'm curious the, to see is when does the chatter turn up for Mike Norvell? Soon, I like it. Hashtag Ole Miss. soon a lot. Ole Miss has got to be Miss. just oh. salivating, mm-hmm. looking over there. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. watching. What just, was that? <laughs> oh I don't really my, know. Don't do ever do, do that. What do you, I'm do you do? gonna just not. <laughs> Oh. Basically, Ole Miss. Oh, Ole Miss oh. is going to hire Tulsa I boys. Go Our Ole, Ole Miss is going to hire Tulsa boys. They're going to hire uh-huh. SMU boys or him. Nah, dude. I think, Guarantee. I think they. I think Ole Chip Miss, Kelly. No, I think they go after um, Ole Miss boy. Norvell. I think so. That's what I just Norvell. said. I know him. Yeah, one of the three. Tulsa boys going to. Uh, he'll, he'll be going to a Texas school, I think. Maybe not anymore, though. Exactly. Chad Morris. A&M confirmed. Confirmed. Um, all right. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Todd Graham's going to oh. be gone, too. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> best game one. of the year, boys. Best game of the I year. I very early this year. Guys. I know. I can't. I'm watching. 
the Whoa. sad husky memes against the, the peg legs. Legless, armless, the peg legs. Guys, I think we need to really talk deeply we should have a watch about, party this about this game. We should have a watch party. Good. So, I can't wait to go to sleep. Give me a pillow. <laughs> I'll need a nappy, boys. Ha ha ha! Kegs and eggs. Kegs and eggs. Let's do it. Got it, Tim. Um, Good job, Tim. Ha ha! Just making sure you got that. Dad humor, old dad, yeah, yeah. Tim. Um, all day, folks. But um, I don't know. Who's this was win moved this game. <laughs> from um, the hurricane, East I, Carolina. I think I'm East going Carolina's for the Pirates. Win this because they showed some bit of life, life last week. East Carolina. I think UConn has not shown me think any they have life. Better athletes. I agree. Too. I do too. I think East Carolina ends up winning this game, and they get their first win <laughs> of the season. Their only they, win. Okay, so are they allowed to regenerate limbs, or do they just keep losing nubs? <laughs> so they'll still be... They just don't get anything one, back. The hooked, the hooked... They have two... Double peg leg... Double peg leg hook eye patches patch right okay. now. Done. Confirmed. Yep. ECU wins. Yeah. Um, if not... ECU really is one of the worst teams. I think, I think they fire their head coach if the ECU loses this game. I think so too. I think. How long has he been there? Bad. Two years. This is the second year. So second year. It's awful. Yeah, he's awful. They're, they're they're under a lot of scrutiny. Jeff Lebo, the athletic director, they, they do not like him at all. They don't like how basketball's gone. You they don't like think, how football is gone. You're gonna no. think about it. This is a team basketball, that they're joke. in the air, baseball they're joke. Football they're joke. Oh, they nosedived in baseball too. Yeah, this is a team that in all of those sports was averaging the highest attendance. They still are. Mm-hmm. They this is crazy. Still are because the fan base. But what starts to happen when it goes down to the depths? Uh, <laughs> the it's, mighty, mighty, it the looks depths. bad. Yeah, it starts to look bad. <laughs> so um, I'm just picturing the ship like sink into the ocean. I know. I know. <laughs> it's already been sunk. <laughs> so. It's got coral reef on it already. <laughs> Agreed. So uh, I think that's it for the American Athletic Conference. Yeah. Uh, this could be an interesting week. I don't think we're going to see any stunners. Um, this is our last week of four conference, boys. Four well, for conference us, conference. yeah. Kicks off. Yeah. So, uh, Overall, I mean, conference mm-hmm. kicks off next week. Yeah. So um, very exciting. And um, we'll go ahead and jump on to our quote unquote big matchup. So we've got five. Uh, that you guys have lined up, Faux. starting off four. Sorry, uh, <laughs> with I can't count clearly. Um, can't read good, Paul. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Paul. Carl. Paul. Carl. Paul. Carl. Paul. Why do you hate Clemson so much, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I poisoned the trees, yeah. Paul. <laughs> you know, Paul Feinbaum. By the way, I just had to do that in roll tide. Uh, Indeed. So, uh, game one. Yeah. TCU at Oklahoma State. This is going to be an awesome game. I think this is probably my most interesting game of the week here. Oh, and you know yeah. what's terrible yes. is that college game day is like, yo, y'all got a tight matchup, but we're going to go to New York. So Where did they end up going? New York City. New York City. For what game? They're no just game. going. Oh, just no going. game. Oh. They're going to they're gonna go in Times Square. Cool. Yeah, but uh, yeah. they're ruining... No, I'm saying what? that's stupid. Yeah. What is the point? They're ru- yeah, they're Bees. ruining. You know ESPN what they're trying to do? Ruining their only good no, thing. You anymore. know what they're trying to do? Bees. They they saw what they could do, and I'm a Fort Worth boy. Everybody knows that. Trust but they me. did a great job at Sundance Square. They figured it out there when they did the Cowboys um, Super Bowl. They had great ratings at Sundance Square, and they're like, okay, let's try and do something like that in a big metropolitan area in the middle of the city. Whenever TCU was playing for those games, they didn't do it by TCU. They did it in Sundance Square. I think that's the angle they're it's, going for. You know, it's it's college football changing from about football to money. Mm-hmm. Oh, balls. it is about money. It's all that's about what money it is. Because yeah. there's no reason they should not be at TCU Oklahoma. Any any no. one of those those one or two that we're going to talk Indeed. about. Indeed. So, who do you guys uh who are you guys picking? Oklahoma State. Yeah, I got to go with Oklahoma State. I got to go I with Oklahoma get, State, too. I think they're absolutely ridiculous. I, I think, think Rudolph Ru- is sick. Mason Rudolph's yeah, the best player in college football as of week. today. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Uh, unfortunately, my, my home city folks will probably lose this game, but it's all good because go Cougs. Uh, next, <laughs> we have UCLA at Stanford. This is going to be really interesting because you now have Stanford, who has lost two in a row, Mm -hmm. and UCLA, who just lost to Memphis. Going to be pretty interesting for the state of California. I don't know who's going to, what team's going to show up on either side on this one. I don't know what to expect on this one, like, period. 
I, I want to lean Stanford, but they I'll just say got Stanford beat because they're at San Diego. I'll say Stanford because they're at home. Okay, I think that's fair. I think I, that's fun. That's next fun. game, no, but yeah, a big one that we've got for us is going to be Boise State um, versus Virginia at Boise State on the blue turf. Can I just say? I saw the best thing of the week coming oh, from Boise State. They about. have this dog that goes and picks up the um, tea. the yeah. tea for um, Kickoff. kickoffs, mm-hmm. and it was just just it's so adorable. Great. It was adorable. It got good like good boy. Good boy gets was, a good tea. It got tweeted at like twelve p.m. last night and already had like two hundred thousand retweets yeah. by like eight a.m. in the morning, seven a.m. in the morning. So and it's not only interesting just for Boise great. State, it's interesting for the Mountain West Conference too, because they're gonna try and get that New Year's six spot. So they need Boise to yep. win to help the conference so that yep. way they have that argument and their right. resume going into whatever exactly. whoever wins the uh Mountain West. Agreed. Yep. Um so But I I think Boise's gonna win this one easily. Yeah. Virginia um, hasn't shown even yeah. though they just annihilated UConn. I don't count that. It's going to be pretty damn good. Next we have, you've got for a big matchup. I don't know that this is a big matchup. I think this is going to be an utter pegging. Me too. Oklahoma at Baylor. And there's a couple of other games I want to touch on that we don't have in our notes before we run through. Um, I think we all know that. Baylor's going 0-4. Baylor is back, guys, to the shite that they used to be. So, (laughs) interesting games that I find on here um, are going to be Purdue and Michigan. Purdue is a lot better than they used to be. Yeah, that's um, I don't think Michigan's that good. I don't think they I are do either. Not believe in the Harbaugh train. I think Florida. I think Harbaugh's good. I just they don't have they don't have a quarterback. That's a problem. John they O'Corn's they didn't exactly blow away Air Force last. John O'Corn still sucks, guys. So he's y'all not, are he doesn't leaning hardly ever play Purdue. Though. I know. You're leaning Purdue. Purdue. I'm not leaning Purdue, no. but they look nice Purdue's right now. Purdue's better than Purdue of. You know, they have the ago. fire in their belly. From that's because they got Reno Tony Couture. there. They got exactly. Tony and they got the Brahms and that prolific offense. Exactly. Yeah. Other cool games I think for this week to keep an eye on: uh, NC State, Florida State. I'm not sold on Florida State minus their uh, quarterback situation. And I, you know, from the very beginning of the season, I've been saying I think NC State's going to be pretty good. They're two and one. Uh, other games, lost South Carolina. Yeah, that was. Mm, I think pretty bad. I, think, I still think FSU wins that game. Yeah, I, I think too. they just have better athletes. Interesting one. It's not going to tell us a whole lot, but it may let us see what Alabama is all about. Vandy is now three and zero, a whole lot better team than I would have expected coming in from the season. But they've kind of bounced back in the last couple of weeks. Um, next, we have one that I, I'm so surprised that you did not bring up: uh, Mississippi State versus eleven Georgia. This is a big game. This is a real big game. You got East and West mm-hmm. fighting against each other. What do you guys have? Uh, I think Mississippi State wins this game. Okay. From I like it, isn't Georgia? They have they're ranked. Their backup quarterback there, right? Yeah, but backup quarterback is fine out. against Notre Dame. My namesake's out. Notre Dame, I think is. A, I don't think they're very good anymore. Indeed. So um, I'm gonna go Mississippi State. They have, they have the best. They have a more impressive one. That's fair. Cool. Most important game, I think, for us. Right. There's a lot of stuff. You know, uh, we we try to do this outlining what the. You know, the landscape of college football is, and like I mentioned last week, if we can keep winning games, how does this shift in our favor in one way or another, right? So um, the most important game to us, while we already talked about Boise State, is going to be San Diego State at Air Force, uh, sorry, playing Air Force uh, at the Air Force Academy, actually. So um, San Diego State is now 22 in the rankings, Mm -hmm. and... We need a loss here. Yeah, I just They're don't see them in the Air Force. So I don't either. I don't. I, don't I think this is a really, really tough situation for us. And up, this back? is this is an interesting t- topic for us to talk about. Penny? Or uh, something, Penny? Really good. They're running back. Yeah, San Diego State? Yeah. He went to the league. Yeah, he graduated no, no, no. this past there, year. There was two guys. The the other guy's still back. Oh, I can't remember. Not sure. But it, this is their schedule, right? So let's hope Boise State ends up you know, winning a game, losing a game, whatever. They play Air Force, then they play NIU. NIU beat Nebraska this past week. Then they play UNLV, who is being worse than normal. NIU also lost to Boston College. Yeah, that is true. Boston College. I watched that game. (laughs) Um, That's how you know you're a junkie. You watch it. You're a college football junkie. I think it was like a Friday night, though. Yeah. It was late, so I watched it. Boise State plays at San Diego State. Fresno State It's going to be easy. 
Hawaii is going to be easy. San, San Jose State's going to be easy. Nevada, maybe. New Mexico, a win. They only have three games away from them being undefeated. I think San Diego State is also favored They're probably for the favored rest of their for games. all of their yeah, games. They are. So this is a s- sticky situation for the Cougs because let's say what we want to happen happens. Um, you've got a now ranked 22 that is going to just keep winning their games. Yeah. That's how's that? That's that well, does not somebody do, somebody proposed does a one loss American champion go ahead of an undefeated San Diego well, State? Well, I think okay, hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, if sure. U of H were to go undefeated, yeah, right, and let's say we beat USF on the road, yep. USF will be ranked in the top twenty. Then we beat Memphis. That's a win. We beat Memphis. Memphis gets ranked before then. That's another top twenty five win. Navy. Depending on if we can beat Texas Tech. And let's say Texas Tech goes on a run when they get in Big Twelve play and they yeah. lose maybe or at only, least or they even, only lose two games. Yeah, to right. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Let's say they went out. Yeah, they potentially could be maybe twenty four, five. Yeah, whatever. Maybe our resume looks will look better. Yeah, than that. I agree. And it, and this is the whole sort of situation though is the fact that we kind of have right. to come from behind. You know, we're sitting with we're one vote in the AP yeah. right now. We've I like been there playing before. like that, though. I prefer to play like yeah. that. Oh, definitely. The I last time we had to come from behind and did it, we did it. And Indeed. the time we started in the front, not, not so, so good. We did not so, not so good. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. And I think, you know, guys, got to remember, we got the big time P5 games every single week, but you got to keep your eyes on the Boise State, San Diego States of the world. Because if San Diego State goes undefeated and those teams above them, they're going to lose. Nobody can be undefeated for forever. And as that starts to happen, unless you're USF, who's 3-0 and and has gone down in the rankings every single week um, because of their poor performances, they're destined to move up and up and up and up. And I want to see, well, do, you have, do you have a, like you said, win and loss, let's say we don't end up catching them. Let's say you have a 10-ranked, San Diego State for whatever reason, and UH is at 15. I don't think you will ever see San Diego State at 10. I don't think so. And I think it's because... I'm just using random numbers, guys. I think it's uh, before the college football playoff system, absolutely. If they weren't defeated, they'd be in the top 10. With the college football playoff committee, they won't put them in the top 10. Yeah, They will not do it. No, there's no way. Yeah. Especially with not having multiple teams that they beat that are ranked. Yep. I agree. So, so... Last one that I will talk about before we can go ahead and run off on this. I know Jameson's hating me every single moment that I add another More game games. on. Yep. But last one, I, I really last am. one. <laughs> a 3-0 and Kentucky against a ranked number 20 Florida is going to be the game of the SEC for this last next week. And I'm what? excited. Kentucky has the potential to finally it's actually not, be halfway decent, happen. and it no, could happen. No. I, I don't think know it where could happen. you got that from. I think That's it could happen. Happening. I think it could happen. What? You, you really just mentioned Kentucky? Yep, I did. So I got to add them in the thing? Great. Yep, there you go. Okay. So, wow. overall, though, that's the game for the week. Yeah. yeah. So, um, don't have fan questions this week because we have a little bit of extra tidbit for you. Coming, a, little, a little sweetener. Yeah, a little... A little Sweetener coming in uh, (laughs) in the next couple of days, which you guys will see. So um, I think that's it. Overall takes for this next week that you're excited for, um, you know, give it to me in two sentences, Tim. Two sentences. I finally get to go to a U of H home game. That's the one and only sentence. Okay, cool. Uh, You can have a paragraph. You You're so lucky. No, I'm good. Paragraphs. Sorry. I'm good. No, I'm uh I'm excited for just to have a, a power five team back in TDCU Stadium, kind of see what the atmosphere could be. Cause let's be real, if we were in the Big Twelve, that'd be like every week. I know. I agree. I know. It sucks. Um, but no, I'm I'm I think it's gonna be a good test for our team and I'm excited to see kind of how we measure ourselves. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. And I'm super excited for the Cougs, just like you guys mentioned. We get to have tech at home. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be lively. We've got a fan base that is going to travel, which we clearly did not see this last week. Um, but I thought Rice brought more fa- They brought more fans than I thought they were going to. Nah, I didn't. But um, I'm I'm more so excited about the fact that we're now – we're, we're going into week four. You know, week one, two, three, you see the big matchups and they fall. But you have a lot of teams that are undefeated. 
And now is when the nitty gritty starts to sort of follow in. And that's why I was kind of getting as deep into the uh, top 25 as I was, because this is where the teams start to bend and break. And it starts leading into the Cougs favor when these teams who are on the, you know, precipice of possibly being ranked or they are already ranked that start falling out for us. So that's going to lead a whole lot in our favor. I'm really excited about week four, obviously for the Cougs and our game against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Raiders. Red Raiders. Raiders. Raider. <laughs> Air Raider all fans. Exactly. Um, but more so for, you know, just the the general landscape of, of college football going forward through the next yeah. couple of weeks. So, uh, you guys have anything else? No. Awesome. That's it. Well, cool, no, guys. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. If you've already w- watched the video, if you like it, please like the video uh, and subscribe. If you're on iTunes and you haven't checked out the video, check it out. Um, also, check us out on our Facebook page, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Yeah. And yep. um, give us a follow. Give follow. Us a give us a up, like. Something. A little interact. Click shoot that. The, shoot the shit with us. Click yeah. the button. We'd really appreciate it. But I think that's about it. Thank you so much for listening, yep. and we will see you sooner than you think. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. We're out. <laughs>